Welcome to our exploration of Perun, the Slavic Lord of Thunder. We'll uncover his role in Slavic mythology, his epic battles, and his enduring influence on Slavic culture. As we delve into the world of this supreme deity, we'll journey through ancient villages, royal courts, and modern-day celebrations, tracing the footsteps of Perun's legacy across time and space. Perun, the supreme Slavic deity, commanded respect as the god of thunder, lightning, storms, law, and war. His prominence in Slavic cosmology was evident in the daily lives of ancient villagers. During storms, families sought shelter in their wooden homes, the air filled with the scent of rain and ozone. Children hid under furs while elders recited the Gromovaya Molitva prayer, their voices barely audible over the wind. Perun's dual role as master of nature's fury and arbiter of justice was deeply ingrained in Slavic belief systems. This connection between celestial power and earthly justice would continue to shape Slavic culture for generations to come. Perun's influence extended beyond the skies, permeating both celestial and terrestrial realms. Farmers relied on his benevolence for their crops, while judges invoked his wisdom in courtrooms. The ritual of oath-taking was a solemn affair, with participants physically connecting to both earth and sky, embodying the link between Perun's domain and earthly justice. In some regions, this act included the consumption of bread and salt, symbolizing truth and the earth's bounty. This interconnectedness between the divine and the mundane was a cornerstone of Slavic life, reflected in the symbols and rituals associated with Perun. The symbols linked to Perun provided insight into his worship and divine nature. Axe amulets, oak trees, and eagles were more than mere representations. They were living connections to Perun's power. These symbols were woven into the fabric of daily Slavic existence through art, ritual, and belief. In Polish tradition, oak acorns were sometimes used to make ritual bread, believed to impart Perun's strength. These symbols not only represented Perun's attributes, but also played crucial roles in the cosmic battles that defined Slavic mythology. The eternal battle between Perun and Velas forms a cornerstone of Slavic cosmology. As winter gave way to spring, Slavic villagers would reenact this cosmic struggle. Children played the part of Velas while elders wielded wooden axes representing Perun. This reenactment, filled with laughter and mock battle cries, mirrored the divine conflict that drove the changing seasons. In Serbian traditions, a special stew was prepared, its ingredients symbolizing elements of both deities. This cosmic battle was not just a tale of good versus evil, but a representation of the natural cycle and the balance between sky and earth. Perun's divine relationships further illuminated Slavic mythology. The Midsummer Festival featured the sacred marriage of Perun and Mokos, enacted by chosen villagers. This symbolic union, performed as the community watched, was believed to ensure bountiful harvests and fertility. The ceremony reflected the deep Slavic understanding of natural cycles, where the marriage of sky and earth was essential for life to flourish. In Czech lands, this ritual often included the brewing of special mead, its golden color evoking the union of heavenly and earthly realms. These divine relationships were not just mythology, but were deeply intertwined with the practical aspects of Slavic life. The legacy of Perun resonates beyond Slavic tales, sharing traits with other Indo-European thunder gods. In Slavic settlements, blacksmiths played a crucial role, forging tools that served both agricultural and martial purposes. The craft of blacksmithing was considered sacred, each strike of the hammer echoing Perun's thunder. This duality in Perun's nature set him apart from figures like Thor, whose hammer was primarily a weapon. The connection between craftsmanship and divine power highlighted the unique aspects of Perun's worship and its influence on daily life in Slavic societies. Perun's legacy endures in modern Slavic culture, transforming from ancient deity to cultural icon. Contemporary summer solstice celebrations feature bonfires where locals share tales of Perun passed down through generations. The double-headed eagle, once associated with Perun, now appears on national emblems and jewelry. 
Linguists study words like perun, meaning thunder in Serbo-Croatian, tracing ancient beliefs in modern language. Even in weather forecasting, phrases like perun is angry are used colloquially for severe thunderstorms, blending myth with meteorology. This enduring presence of Perun in modern Slavic life demonstrates the deep-rooted influence of this ancient god on cultural identity and everyday expressions. 